It is expanding to move millions more people in New York City. It is transforming Seattle's waterfront and making the city more resilient to earthquakes. It is restoring water quality and addressing rising river levels in Washington, D.C. And it is supporting new development in Austin, Texas. It is the underground. And for young engineers looking for a dynamic, challenging career, it is the future. The underground construction industry is booming, creating an unprecedented demand for engineers in the USA. Whether it's to clean up our environment, whether it's to move people, to improve our infrastructures, the needs are, are just tremendous. The last company I was at, through the economic downturn, our underground group grew 20% a year, every year. The projects are ever more ambitious. multi-billion dollar expansion of New York City's subway and commuter rail means tunneling under some of the most expensive real estate in the world, sometimes in ground requiring elaborate ground freezing to support excavation under an existing subway tunnel, a busy roadway, and an elevated track, all stacked above. Plus nearby buildings that have to be supported for any potential settlement as well, very, very near the foundation of the work, so pretty complicated and building the entrances to new stations in the basements of skyscrapers. And blasting enormous station caverns, all without interrupting life on top. We've excavated almost a million cubic yards of rock with no one knowing. Massive structures there, 60 feet by 60 feet by 1,200 to 1,400 feet long. New advances are constantly pushing what is possible many more sensors on the equipment, speed sensors, temperature sensors, proximity sensors. There's computer controlled equipment, drills that you can enter the drill pattern and those booms will move by themselves. Not to mention today's tunnel boring machines or TBMs, computer guided underground factories that can bore through virtually any ground, erecting the tunnel liner as they go. The largest TBM in the world, with a cut ahead more than five stories high, will carve a double-deck highway tunnel under downtown Seattle to replace the structurally unsound viaduct above. Today, the machines are submarines. Uh, we have the ability to go virtually anywhere with these machines safely and effectively. We're going to be able to put tunnels where we didn't before. We're going to be able to put them bigger and deeper, make them more uh, livable, make them more adaptable for multi-uses. When you look to the future, you'll be in new places that we would have considered impossible at this time. The scale and scope of the projects are demanding greater skill sets from young engineers. They're eager, they want to be there, they're bright, and they, they soak it up like a sponge. What are the major construction activities? What I do on the project is put together the project documents for the job, all the preliminary engineering plans, the specifications, help run the procurement part for the project. Skills applied to a massive Clean Rivers and Flood Protection Program in Washington, D.C., with more than 12 miles of tunnels and underground construction that will prevent millions of gallons of untreated sewage spilling into the Potomac River and Chesapeake Bay each year. And you not only are just designing a tunnel, there's shafts, there's supportive excavations, there's, um, there's mechanical, there's electrical. On the project that I'm working on, there's a lot of hydraulic engineers, so you have to understand what they need. The same is true for a major new drinking water treatment plant and distribution system in Austin, Texas that has the added challenge of tapping into a lake. You can imagine you're trying to connect a tunnel to a body of water with people working in the tunnel while not flooding the tunnel during construction but being able to flood the tunnel when it's ready for operations. And the techniques that are used for this are just absolutely fascinating. Through scholarships and its conferences, the Underground Construction Association, or UCA, encourages young engineers. Be vocal about your interest and reach out to UCA members because I think everybody in the industry is, is, is supportive and welcoming. You get to network and speak with and be known by the major players in the industry. And I think it's really important for young people to get involved in doing that networking and attending some of those conferences. The technology and the trials, the tribulations, and the triumphs that are shared are great. 
the opportunities and possibilities for the underground are endless. Nothing against, you know, classical geotechnical engineering, but tunneling to me is just so much more interesting. It's uh, very, very gratifying. It takes time and money, but you, you can do anything. It's a fabulous opportunity for a very rewarding career. Every time I go underground, I'm hooked, especially when we're, when we're advancing tunnel, when we're excavating. There's lots of opportunity. It's a very exciting uh, industry to be in. I love it. I love the guys I work with. It's fun to go to work, but I've been doing it for 43 years, and it's still fun to go to work. So where can the UCA and the underground take you?